All right guys, so I got the rack out on my table here. This is, I got a KitchenAid dishwasher. But I guess this is a common problem with a lot of dishwashers. So this is the top rack. On the right side of this rack, so this side, this plastic mounting piece that rides on the rails broke. So take a close look there. You can see it's cracked up there. And then this side's rounded off, so it actually fell out of the metal rails that slide this in and out of your dishwasher. So this side was hanging down. This side over here is still good. If you guys look, it's supposed to have this nub on the other side that broke. And then you can see the that little nub there. That's what locks into your rail. So I did some research and I found some replacement parts on Amazon. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below for these parts. You got to make sure that it's for your dishwasher. So if you clean up your parts here and you look closely, you can see a model number right in there. And that's going to tell you what parts you need to replace. Now you can go on KitchenAid and Whirlpool and all that stuff and you can get the OEM. I ended up just getting the stuff off Amazon. It was a little bit cheaper and we're going to see how well this works. So this is the bad side. We're going to go ahead and pop this piece off right here. It's held on with two clips. You got this clip up here. So you just push it off of that rail which unlatches it from that clip. And then you got two more. And if you look closely, you got two more that you just pinch right here. And that's gonna pop out this clip down here which holds it in. Squeeze those two in, as you guys can see. This clip pops off. There's the clip that was holding it on. And you guys can see there, this whole assembly just kind of pops right out. A lot of nasty stuff in there I have to clean out. But I just noticed as I pulled this out, this part's cracked too. So I'll probably go ahead and replace both sides just because I got it already out of the dishwasher, but let's go ahead and compare the parts here just to make sure they're a good fit. Looks about the same size there. So everything looks pretty good. Go ahead and install this one. There is, I pull this nasty stuff out. There is these kind of like a little clip type thing up in here and this is what raises your your tray up and down so you're gonna have to try to get that in there what I do is I kind of compress this down so those pull together so this can come up so there you go you got that in there now we're gonna go ahead and put the clips in which are supplied with this kit. All right, so the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to take one of these clips. I already kind of put it on the inside of this tray. So this is going to go on the very back part. As you can see right there, you're going to slide it onto this nub of the bracket so kind of like this and then that's gonna slide up and then you're gonna clip this onto the actual tray so that's what I did there I just clipped it so that's all good and then you're gonna go ahead and this part that popped off earlier when we we're taking the original bracket off we're supplied with another one here, brand new. This is what holds it in the middle. 
you guys can see on this side, I haven't taken this one off yet, but if you look on this side here, that's what this is there. I know this is kind of hard to see, but go ahead and you're just going to snap this into place. And there you go. So now this bracket on this side has the two. One in the middle, one in the back. You got one more bracket to put on. That's this one. And then this one is going to go in the front. So this is the other side. This one's going to go into the front on this other nub. Kind of do the same thing that the one in the back did. You guys can see. I'll show you here. That right there is what we're talking about. This is the original side that I haven't taken apart yet, but that's this, this is the same part, and we're gonna go ahead and put it on the side that was broken that I just replaced all the parts. So, see if I can do this on camera. So you're gonna want these upper tabs here to be on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down a little bit here. So push the button, lower that down, so that I can fit this in there, make it easy on ourselves, right? So you're gonna wanna enter, you got want these ones on, the, the top ones on the outside of the rack, and then you want these other ones on the inside. Then I'll go ahead and lift this up. And you wanna, Hook it onto this nub right here. So this, how it's feeding in there, like so. So there you go. Locked it in place there. That's how it looks on both sides. So that's it for the one side. You got three clips that hold the bracket in. You gotta make sure you feed it up into here. Now I have read reviews where these nubs right here are a little hard to fit into the, the rail that's inside the dishwasher. I'll find that out once I get this all put together. I'm gonna do the other side right now. All right guys, so after closer inspection of this side, the OEM side that didn't break, this is the side I replaced over here because it did break. There's no cracks or really any wear on these tabs here. So I don't think I'm gonna replace this. I think I'm just gonna keep this other side that came in the package as extra parts and I'll just throw them in a drawer. Um, and if this does break, then I'll replace it. But who knows, this side might break prematurely before this side. So I'm just gonna keep that as extra parts and um, I'm gonna go ahead and install it the way it is. So this side's got the OEM side. This side has the parts that I use from Amazon. So you go ahead and install it. Bye-bye. <laughs>